kiongozi wa kiroho kwa ajili ya watu the second thing was la pili ni kuwa you received a double portion of inheritance ulipokea urithi maradufu the third thing jambo la tatu you had the authority you were the, the chief uli uli ulikuwa na mamlaka wewe ndiye uliyekuwa mkuu the fourth thing jambo la nne you received the promised land wewe ulipokea ahadi ya nchi ya ahadi the land of Canaan went with the birthright nchi ya kanani ilikuja pamoja na haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza and the fifth thing na jambo la tano the seed ile mbeku the seed the messiah the line that the messiah would come through ule ule uzao wa mbegu iliyoaidiwa ya 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 masihi ingepita kwako the promised seed mbegu iliyoaidiwa would come with the birthright ingekuja na haki kupitia haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza so the birthright was valuable kwa hiyo haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza ilikuwa ina umuhimu and the bible describes na biblia uelezea just one day ya kwamba siku moja tu we're not told how old their father was hatujulishi kwamba baba yao alikuwa na umri gani we're not told how old these twin brothers were hatujulishi ya kwamba walikuwa na umri gani hawa ndugu wawili we simply told that Esau had been out hunting tunaelezwa tu kirahisi ya kwamba Esau alikuwa anatoka mawindoni and he had a bad day hunting na alikuwa na siku mbaya huko katika kuwinda and the day was about to get even worse na siku ilikuwa inakaribia kuendelea kuwa mbaya zaidi he's coming home he saw this is he's coming home hungry esau anarudi nyumbani akiwa na njaa i don't know about you mimi sielewi kuhusiana na wewe but when i come home and i'm hungry lakini mimi ninapokuja nyumbani na nina njaa i want to eat na ninatamani kula and i want to eat now na ninatamani kula sasa hivi i don't want to have to wait to eat sitamani kusubiri kula and i want to eat food that's going to go in and it's going to fill my stomach na ninatamani kula chakula kitakachopita na kujaza tumbo langu I don't want to eat something like lettuce. Sitamani kula kitu kama cabbage. I want something that's going to fill my belly now. Natamani kitu ambacho kitajaza tumbo langu sasa hivi. And Esau's coming home and he's hungry. Na Esau anarudi nyumbani na ana njaa. And Jacob is cooking. Na Yakobo anapika. Now when they cooked in those days sasa walipopika kipindi hicho they didn't use electric hawakutumia umeme they didn't use gas hawakutumia gas they cooked with an open fire walitumia moto wa mafiga and these people they were intelligent na hawa watu walikuwa na akili they used the best wood that produces the best flavors from the smoke from that wood that goes into the food na na walitumia kuni bora iliyokuwa inatoa vionjo vya moto vizuri and the bible describes how Jacob is cooking a red lentil stew na biblia uelezea ambavyo yakobo anapika dengu we can imagine how he was cooking it tunaweza kufikiria namna alivyokuwa anapika he has the fire going ana moto unaendelea and there's some red coals na, na, na kuna makaa mekundu and he has a pan na ana ana kikaangio and he puts some oil in the pan na na mimina mafuta ndani ya kikaangio and living in the middle east what oil would he use na kule katika nchi za za za, za, za kati mafuta yalikuwa na maana tell me what oil would he use au nadhani kwamba angetumia mafuta gani katika kipindi hicho olive oil mafuta ya zaitun 
olive oil. They tun. And into this pan with the olive oil. Na nani ya 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 chombo hiki na mafuta. He put some onion. Anaweka vitungu. And maybe some garlic. Anaweka na 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 Maybe some shallots. Weka na vikaroti yapo. And this is cooking on that fire. Na 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 inaiva ju ya mo utobuo. Can you smell it? Una iskia rufiaki? Now, when we think of lentils, zasa una pofikiri ya dengo. Before they cooked, kabla hazi yaiva. If you drop a lentil, ilikuwa uki angusha kadengo. And it lands on a floor like this. Na na ikatua kwenye kwenye sakafu kama hi. Because a lentil is hard before it's cooked. Kwa sababu kadengu kana ugumu kabla hakajaiva. It bounces. Kana dunda. And it's not very nice before it's cooked. Na na sio kazuri sana kabla hakajaiva. But lentils, like in dengu, when they cooked properly, zikiiva vizuri. And while I've been here, the ladies have cooked me some shrimps. Na na wakati niko hapa, wana wakiki wame nipiki ya mimi demu nzuri. You ladies know how to cook good lentils. Nye wana wakiki mna yoku pika demu nzuri. And so did Jacob. Na hivyo hata ya kobo. And Jacob got these red lentils. Kwa hivyo ya kobo kachukua demu hizi. And he mixed them with the onion and the garlic and the olive oil. Onion, na 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 karoti, na hivu vitu mo. And they're sitting on this fire, na iko juu ya moto. And he put some Middle Eastern herbs and spices, na kaweka vionjo vile vya nchi za magharibu zako zinakati. And just the right amount of salt, akaweka kiwango sahi cha chuo. And this is on the fire. And Esau is coming home hungry. And the Bible describes how Jacob had some fresh bread. And you know what fresh bread smells like? Na unajua mkate mzuri ambao haujapitwa na wakati unavyonukia. Oh. Mm. is coming home. Kwa sawa anarudi akiwa na njaa. And he smells this. Ana futa hiyo harufu. And he smells the bread. Na nasikia hiyo harufu ya mkate. And Esau, did I tell you Esau is hungry. Na je nilikwambia kwamba sawa na njaa. He says to his brother Jacob, Give me some of that. He said, I'm going to die if I don't eat. And that was a ridiculous exaggeration. And Jacob says, No. You can't have any of this. You can if you sell me your birthright. Unaweza kama ukiniuzia haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. If you give me your birthright, ukinipa haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza, I'll give you some of this. Nitakupatia kidogo ya haya. And he so says, na sawa na sema. Sooner or later I'm going to die. Muda si mrefu naweza nikafa. What good will a birthright be to me if I die? Ivi haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza itanisaidiaje kama nikifa? And so he said, have the birthright. Kwa hiyo sawa nasema chukua haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. And give me some of that. Na unipe mimi dengu. So Jacob kwa hiyo Yakobo gave him the red Lentils. Akatoa zile dengu. And some bread. Na mkate. And Esau gave Jacob. Na Esau akambatia ya kopo. That's right. Haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. How long did those lentils stay in Esau's belly? 
ni kwa muda gani zile dengu zilikaa katika tumbo la Esau not even one day hazikukaa hata siku moja and those lentils were gone na zile dengu zilikuwa zimeshatoka and Jacob had the birthright na Yakobo akapata haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza the deceiver took the birthright mdanganyifu akatwa haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza my brothers and sisters ndugu zangu na dada zangu There is a deceiver yupo mdanganyifu who wants your birthright ambaye anatamani haki yako ya uzaliwa wa kwanza You see as a follower of Jesus unajua kama mfuasi wa Yesu as a baptized Seventh Day Adventist Christian kama Mkristo Adventist msabatu aliyebatizwa You've been born again umebatizwa and when you're born again you receive the birthright na unapozaliwa upya upokea haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza amen amina and what is the birthright that you receive na haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza unayopokea ni ipi you receive the heavenly birthright unapokea haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza wa mbinguni you see When we are born again we can pray anything in Jesus name. Unajua unapokuwa umezaliwa tena unaweza ukaomba lolote katika jina la Yesu. We have the authority of the Father. Tuna mamlaka ya Baba. We are a child of the King. Sisi ni watoto wa mfalme. This is part of the birthright. Na hii ndio haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. Another part of the birthright. Sehemu nyingine ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. We don't inherit the earthly Canaan. Sisi haturithi falme za dunia hii. We inherit the heavenly Canaan. Sisi tuna tunarithi kanani ya mbinguni. And we don't inherit just a double portion of the birthright. Na sisi aturithi tu haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza wa kurithi maradufu. Jesus gives us the whole inheritance. Yesu anatupatia umiliki wa kila kitu. And we don't carry the the seed, we carry the promise of the Holy Spirit in us. Sisi hatubebi ile mbegu ila tunabeba ahadi ya Roho Mtakatifu ndani ya mioyo. And all of us are priests. We are a chosen generation. Na sisi sote ni makuhani ni 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 ukuhani mteule. So my brothers and sisters, kwa hiyo ndugu na dada zangu You have a birthright. Nie mna haki ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. And the devil is seeking your birthright. Na shetani anautafuta haki hiyo ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. The devil wants your birthright. Shetani anataka haki ya uzaliwa wako wa kwanza. And the devil knows, this deceiver knows when you are vulnerable. Na shetani anajua huyu mdanganyifu hujua ni wakati gani umelegea. The deceiver knows when you are hungry. Uyu 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 mdanganyifu anajua ni wakati gani una njaa and he will make sin look good na yeye atafanya dhambi ionekane kuwa njema he will make it smell good ataifanya inukie vizuri he will make it sound good ataifanya isikike vizuri and you might even feel as though unless you do what the devil wants you to do you're going to die na atakufanya ujisikie kwamba kama usipotenda kama anavyotaka utakufa but the fact of the matter is Is it if you do what the devil wants you to do you will die. Lakini katika uhalisia wake ni kwamba ukifanya hicho ambacho shetani anataka ufanye hakika utakufa. Because the deceiver wants you dead without a birthright. Kwa sababu huyu mdanganyifu anakuhitaji ufe pasipo haki ya kuzaliwa wa kwanza. Sometimes. Ziko saa nyingine. Sometimes we can be tempted to think. Na mara nyingine tunaweza tukajaribiwa kufikiri I can do this thing that the devil wants me to do. Kwamba naweza kulifanya hili ambalo shetani anataka nilifanye. And then I can go to God and ask for forgiveness. Alafu baadaye ninaweza nikaenda kwa Mungu nikaomba msamaha. Mrs. White writes about this. Mama White anaandika kuhusiana na hilo. She describes it with Jacob and Esau. Na ulielezea kwa mfano wa Yakobo na Esau. In her book Councils on Health page 100 katika kitabu chake cha maushauriano juu ya afya ukurasa moja na kumi. We read that Esau flattered himself that he could dispose of his birthright at will 
and buy it back at pleasure ya kwamba Esau alijidanganya ya kwamba anaweza akaachia haki yake ya uzaliwa wa, wa kwanza na kuinunua tena kama anavyotaka. But when he sought to regain it even a great sacrifice. Lakini alipo alipoamua kuitafuta hata kwa kafara, he was not able to do so. Hakuweza kufanya hivyo. He then bitterly repented of his rashness. Na hivyo basi akaungama kwa uchungu kwa kwa muhemuko wake. His folly. O kaidi wake. His madness. Ujinga wake. But it was all in vain. Ya lakini vyote vilikuwa tupu. He had despised the blessing. Alikuwa amedharau mbaraka and the Lord had removed it from him forever. Na Bwana alikuwa ameuondoa kwake milele. You know, she goes on and she says in another place. Unajua anaendelea na anasema mahali pengine. That multitudes are selling their birthright. Ya kwamba mafuriko ya watu wanauza haki zao za uzaliwa wa kwanza. But you people of God don't sell your